بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي امين يا رب so as far as the issue of the nail polish during the times of purity are concerned uh, <coughs> this would be understood based upon the qiyas of the henna so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allowed women in fact commanded women to wear henna in their hands like for example, there's a Sahih Hadith, a, a, a Sahabiyah came to the Prophet وسلم, to do bayah, he told her to wear henna. Okay? And so the, uh, the, uh, the women at the time of the Prophet وسلم, were commanded by the Prophet to wear henna. Now one of the places where the henna is put is obviously the nails. Now, the difference between nail polish and henna is that henna does what we call a staining on the skin. It stains the dead cells of the skin. It stains on the... It's, and it is a layer of stain that keeps the water from coming in. Obviously, that's why the color is there. But nail polish, on the other hand, is like paint that coats or covers the entire nail. Okay? And does not let nail water into that nail in any... Uh, uh, in any uh, the whole area basically it's like sealed whereas the henna allows uh, because it's not completely covering it's actually depending upon the thickness or the lightness of the henna uh, it depends how much it's covering and henna can't be you know henna is it can't be just washed away uh, but you have to wait uh, an X amount of days to let the henna go out so it's actually in some ways Henna, unlike nail polish, which you can use something to kind of like remove the nail polish, the nail polish remover, henna actually takes a few days and it takes its natural process to come out. So why am I saying this? I'm saying this for the reason of understanding that there were uh, women at the time of the Prophet ﷺ who would wear something on their hands that would keep the water from actually touching the skin. Okay, and that would be how by by staining on the what happens, it stains on the dead cells of the skin. So one option sisters have, which they can look up in the internet, is that they do have stains like henna, henna-based stains and non-henna-based stains, meaning uh, coloring on the nails that, are, that work like henna, that, are, that can be bought over the internet. So that's one option. You know, so one is henna, they can wear henna. Clearly after that they can wear something that's staining instead of coating, instead of painting, you know, instead of... So that's the number one option is henna. Number two option is something that works like henna with different elements added to it um, to give it different colors, okay? So they have like, for example, henna can be made black, it can be made blue, it can be made red, it can be made orange, so on and so forth. Then now it, the issue comes as far as the nail polish itself is concerned. Is the nail polish different from henna or not? I explained already that one's a stain, one's a coating. Uh, essentially, they both do the same thing, which is to keep the water out. But they're different in the sense that henna allows still some water in between the particles of the henna that are not stained. Okay, and so the coating of the nail polish completely keeps the water away. Now, uh, how can we then understand the issue of the nail polish? One way to deal with it is uh, to do what the men do with a lot of times with their socks. Is to have wudu on, uh, to do wudu, and then they wear the socks, and then you can do the masah on the socks, or you have the khufain, you do the masah on the khufain. In the same way, if women, they wear the nail polish, and then what? Then they, um, they do wudu, and then they wear the nail polish. Now, uh, they, uh, they can uh, do this process that is done with the masha of the socks with their nails. Okay, they can also do this. But this would be something that is uh, disliked because the difference between the mas'ah of the socks and the 
coating of the nails is that the masha of the socks is out of a need that's made easy, meaning you have to wash the feet and it's made easy by wiping the socks. Over here, when a, a sister is beautifying herself by wearing, you know, these colorings, which the Prophet ﷺ encouraged women to do on their hands, wear them henna. So it was, but from there we take that the beauty in the hands, uh, even though it, for the non-mahram, there can be different opinions about the hands, if they should be covered or not covered, but leave that aside. Whatever your opinion is, whether it should be covered or not covered, or the hands are not part of the aura, and so on and so forth. So, when she uh, wears these uh, nails, if she, wear, uh, she wears these nail polish, okay, uh, then she can do wudu over that, just like the situation of the masha of the socks. And uh, this would be, uh, you know, as long as she's cut her nails, and uh, as long as, and what is recommended, that if you do this, you know, then you keep it on for the whole day and before you sleep or before your next prayer, which is Fajr, sometime between the night you take it off, okay, with the nail polish remover, you take it off and uh, you can then after Fajr again, or at Fajr again have a new wudu and do this for a whole day. This is to create easiness for some of the sisters, but one recommendation here is the coloring of these should be earth colors. They should be uh, the more problem of the nail polish would be the brightness and the attraction it causes. So like henna, you know, uh, the henna colors are better even if you're using nail polish. Some of the darker colors that don't create that much attraction, don't create that much, uh, you can say, uh, catching the eye type colors. Um, bright colors should be kept away from for sure and I would say that if it is a bright color then it is not so much the issue of the nail polish but the brightness of the color that can then make it you know makru uh, for sure and then on top of that you're making it in, you're doing an ease which is unnecessary which is a it's not necessary that you uh, have nail polish on so if you're going to do it it has the similarity of henna and uh, but also do it why henna? Because the coloring of henna is also very important. It's something that women can uh, feel aesthetically uh, feel aesthetically pleased with. And but at the same time, the colors should be the dull, non-bright colors, uh, and so they can be of varying degrees. And of course, uh, the more we go towards ihsan and not take ruhsa, the easiness from the fiqhi perspective, the better it is uh, in our deen, inshallah. But, uh, but, you know, some people feel that they need to have aesthetics with them, inshallah. So we will be talking about this. Assalamu alaikum wa